everyone, it's Jay. And Stephanie, and hello from the RBIA show in Louisville 2016. That's right. Today we are here in the Leisure Travel Vans booth, and we're going to bring you our review of the 2017 Wonder. It's a wonderful RV. I wonder why we haven't made this video sooner. Oh, it even has a Truma water heater from Germany. Wonder bar. <laughs> All right, we should probably, we, we should probably stop with it. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start reviewing the RV now. Let's go. All right. So here we are on the outside of the Wonder, and it is built on the 3.2 liter turbo diesel version of the Ford Transit chassis. Oh wow, our last RV was built with an inline five turbo diesel too. Yeah, yes it was. Yeah. That's strange. It was a sprinter that, though. It's strange that you would know that. Yeah. Diesel okay. girl. Okay, so um, one thing you'll notice on the Wonder and on all the Leisure Travel fans, they do a great job with their fiberglass molding. Look at the scoops on the transit yes, blend in nice. the body. And we actually met the guy who builds those molds for them. He's been with the company for like 30 years. It's a ridiculous amount of yeah, time. Yeah, we filmed a factory tour video and you can see him in that. Yeah. Um, so now here we are. There's a keyless entry on this one. Is that standard or option though? I can't remember. I, 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 don't, I don't recall actually, okay. but, but it, it is available and in any case. And the step comes in and out when the door opens. Very right. Nice. The next I'm going to start showing you storage and you will see just a ton of storage in this rig. They always do a good job of storage on yeah, the rigs. But this one has, and there's something in here that, that is related to that, that I wanted to show you. I think I'm going to grab the camera here. Okay. So what you're seeing up under there, that is an aluminum outrigger. Okay. And why is that? important to show so the alum they've done that to save weight because the the oh. transit has less cargo carrying capacity than a sprinter but right. they still managed to give you see they're 998 pounds Ooh. of cargo carrying oh capacity. that's nice so they've done a lot to shave weight and there's so rig. much storage in this thing you would probably can carry a yeah you, you would actually use the thousand pounds yeah. of storage yeah, all right fantastic. so there's some vents there for an absorption fridge three-way okay and we got here a rather cavernous storage compartment that's so mm -hmm. big, I reasoned I could get inside the compartment. <laughs> and almost stand up. And actually, we were both in there together, and we both could fit and stand up. Yeah, no, we, we won't tell yeah. anyone what we were doing in there. But, <laughs> yeah, uh, people are probably going, why? Lots and lots of storage <laughs> on this particular rig. Okay. Okay, but what I'm showing here is not storage. It is a 3,600 watt propane generator. Wow, and that is bigger than you normally see on a rig this size. Yeah, usually you usually get like 2,800, 2,500, 3,600 watts Nice, here. okay. Now, I did find the, uh, the ladder extension, mm -hmm. um, which enabled me to go up on top of this rig, and I'm kind of glad I did because I saw some interesting stuff up here. There's one thing in particular I found pretty interesting. Okay. We'll see that here in a second. And thank you. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, looking towards the front of the rig, there's the big skylight and the TV antenna. Right on. And uh, now this roof is fiberglass. Yeah, too. so you could walk on it then. Right. You don't, you won't it's worry good about, and sturdy. Yeah. yeah, you won't worry about denting it. And good. there's there's the man <laughs> himself. <laughs> anyway, um, back to the roof. So, there's fiberglass roof and then solar panels. But look, they're not rigid steel or aluminum yeah. framed panels. Yeah, yeah. They're the flexible panels and they're just stuck right down to the roof with adhesive. Oh, so they're not... Drilled in? No, there's in. no there's no screws. We'll get a close up here. Okay. So you can see they're just mounted flat with adhesive and yes. they're there so it's less opportunity for leaks. Right. It's uh, less drag, less weight. It's it's a really good way to do the solar panels when you've got a nice flat roof like that. You know, that. I bet we'll start seeing that more often. Yeah, especially on these rigs with the flat roof. Right. All right, so now here I'm looking at the generator exhaust, and this is something I've started looking at to make sure it's not underneath an openable window. Yeah, so that's well placed. <laughs> right. And now what I'm pointing at here is actually little skid bumpers that they've built into the backside of the rig. And what are those? So that you don't scrape anything underneath oh, sure. the rig. sure. So coming out of a parking lot or something, you're exactly. protected. Exactly. Oh, that's it, it, a nice touch. I know. I kind of like that. Good. All right, so now over on this side is the service center. Um, this is going to be pretty standard RV hookup stuff. Okay, uh, no big so, surprises in here. No, no big surprises. Although I guess uh, maybe the one thing to point out is that they do include a black tank flush, which is going to be that uh, first one there on the right. All right. And then the macerator switch, uh, cable and satellite, fresh water, exterior shower, winterization switch, blah, blah, blah. And what's over to the right? The Oh, the storage the, compartment? The yeah. storage for a macerator hose. Okay. Now, I don't really like macerators um, because, you know, gravity is never going to fail. Right. But a, a motor and an impeller might. And so okay. I'm looking here to see if you can actually remove the macerator and, and dump as a normal RV. And can you? Yes, yes. And we'll see in a little bit, in a moment, that they actually even provide you the hose for that. So that macerator does come off if okay. you elect not to use it, or if it malfunctions and you need to use something else. 
All right, I see the sign behind you for the Truma Aquago, but you were pointing at a regular water heater. So what's up? Uh, so that's a regular Atwood six-gallon water heater, but the Truma Aquago is an option. Also, they're right by my elbow. You can see the uh, the vent for the suburban furnace. Okay. Uh, which we'll see we'll see that on the inside. Um, so now here back uh, in the jungle of their display <laughs> at uh, the RVA Asia, it's a 30 amp shore power connection, and I believe in that compartment was the uh, the propane tank. Oh, okay. So that's right. where you'll see. It. And here we have yet more storage, <laughs> yet more places to shove bodies, yeah. and more of that aluminum outrigger. That's right. Stuff. That's another one of the aluminum outriggers and huge cavernous storage compartment. Wow, you got your arm way back there. Yep, and it's mm. long. It's like golf club size, I think, actually. Yeah. yeah. So, all right, and then uh, here, finally, I'm showing you the sewer hose that I promised you, like you know, okay, a little bit ago. Okay, there it is. So they do actually provide a way for you to empty the uh, the tanks. All right, and there's the window that's going to be above the Murphy bed. We'll show that on the inside. Right. And it, finally, we're going in. Indeed, we are, and you can see once again the door is activated. That automatic step. Yes, and one of the things about this rig is it feels so spacious inside. Very. It's one of those where you walk in, you think there's got to be a slide in this right, thing. Right. Right. But there's not, and not having a slide saves weight. That's true. <laughs> All right. So now here I am in the cab, and I am immediately taken by the squishy comfiness of the seats. Yes, the material they use. What is that? Ultra Which, leather. The ultra leather. It just feels so squishy, soft. Yeah. It's fabulous. And that passenger seat does turn around. You'll see that in some yeah. other shots. Yep. Um, not the drivers. And there's some little switches there that look like they're for like a missile launcher or something. I'm not sure really? what it was, but <laughs> missile launcher. in my rig, they would be a missile launcher. Hmm. Well, I like this little storage here. It goes all the way down to the floor. The bottom, you could, I don't know, put shoes. Even. I, th I think I think you thought, yes, I could put oh, shoes look, in there. Shoes. A coat <laughs> closet, I guess, maybe. Sure. And even more storage. More storage. This is on uh, one side of what will be the Murphy bed. There's mm -hmm. more storage. And oh, look, here's a space. Let's put more storage in that too that's clearly yeah. what the design team was thinking well you do have a thousand pounds to work with so <laughs> fill them fill them up <laughs> there you go so more storage there yeah and now this is the uh skylight it's really large and it's pretty standard across the leisure yeah. travel vans line but it does make it really bright and light and i think it adds to that spacious feeling in there right now this, this is, is important yeah so now this is actually different from the official Le leisure travel vans video they've improved the bed so that thing just flips out and then, bam, it lands on those. You don't have to. There were some legs before that you had to flip around. Yeah, the bed so it's new down. and improved from their original video that they put up. This yeah. mattress is a residential queen size. 60 by 80. Yep, same as what we sleep on at home. It was so comfortable. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, that shelf up there. So there's a shelf for storage up Ooh, there. And that's neat because you can put things on it and they will stay even when you fold up the bed. That's right. So that, that space does not become lost to you when, you, when you make up or when so you put up the bed in the day. Even more storage then. That's right. Even more storage. <laughs> we, will, we will use up that thousand pounds if we have to. <laughs> All right. The bed flipped up and down super easy. You could do it with one hand. It's uh, It just kind of goes on its own. Yep. And there are magnets that kind of hold things in place in addition to a hard latch. There's some magnets magnets there and once you pop these brackets it will just rest right down on the magnets and you've got it I can do it I can do it there, there. <laughs> boom that's the bed yeah okay but this ingenious folding bed area also becomes your dinette you know, it kind of reminds me of those greeting cards you get when you open it up and it's a pop-up card. You open it, everything <laughs> pops out, and then you close it's it. kind of how the bed up. works. So here you see me using it as a dinette. Um, it's plenty comfy for a dinette. You just move the cushion. Yeah, and the cushions just kind of latch on to that metal rail on the wall, just right. like that. Super and they easy. stay in place when the bed goes up and down, as yeah. you saw. Now, across from the dinette is, I guess, what we'd call the entertainment center. So there's a TV there. And a Blu-ray player and a little net ooh, bag. Ooh, ooh, and that sound bar there. There's a sound, yes, right below. There's a sound bar, I think. And point to it, James. There you go. Those sound pretty good, usually. Yeah. So Yeah, I like they added that. And it looks nice, doesn't it? Yeah, well, the very clean right. all throughout this. Well, and the whole rig has that streamlined, clean look, yep. so it fits. And look, here I am highlighting yet more storage okay. above the uh, entertainment center. <laughs> yeah, we're starting to sound like a broken record. Storage, storage everywhere. It really it, is a lot. It is, yes. So there we could put our resistance bands and other exercise equipment. Now, down below, there was another option, wasn't there, for uh, automated? Uh, true, so true. There, there is an ottoman option that you can get. So depending on what option you have, this storage may look different. Right. Maybe configured different. This one did not have the ottomans. Mm -hmm. So what we have here is shocker, more storage. Mm -hmm. And notice, you see me, I'm not, there's no There's no buttons that you have to pop up. Ooh, ooh. Th that, those are on the inverter. Those are outlets for the entertainment center. Oh, good. Center. There's an inverter. Yeah. Um, oh, it's uh, Yeah. It's 
a Magnum, I believe. Okay. Uh, the flooring was really nice. It looked um, like tile, but it wasn't. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. There's a vent. The heat is ducted in here, yeah. worth pointing Very out. Very good. Now we're moving into the galley, which starts off with... Well, more, more storage. storage. But look at that. Two levels. I like that. Gives yeah, a lot of little, options. Yeah, uh, a little skinny shelf there. And that mm-hmm. goes all the way back, even though the door didn't open there. It went all the way back. Yeah. Then another little corner cabinet. That was just more storage up there. Yeah, again, so very nice. The broken record with the mm-hmm. more storage because there is a ton. Right. Well, that's one of those rails, uh, organization rails that you can kind hook. of like something you'd see at Crate and Barrel or IKEA yeah. or something. Things you can hook to, you would hang there. So, and so whatever floats your boat as far as storing there, I guess you yeah. would do. Big stainless steel sink, and one thing I really liked in this was this cool matte countertop. Yeah, I think it was some sort of laminate, but it was really neat looking, wasn't it? Very know, modern. Very, very modern. Two burner stove, mm-hmm. kind of the same as, uh, you know, what uh, what is in a lot of rigs these days. Yeah. And a big picture window. Yeah, so if you're working in the kitchen, you have a nice view. I, I like that. Yeah, I like how big and the was. MCD shades there, not the uh, aluminum mini blinds. Oh, that, yeah, that's true. So they won't clank when you're going down yeah, the road. very good. Three right. drawers in a row. Three drawers, top one for silverware, I guess, and then uh, yet more storage below in yep. case you didn't have enough room there. <laughs> <laughs> there's a, really, there's a lot of storage. And now in here, I was terribly excited to see a trash can. I love to see trash cans built into rigs. But that's not the only thing that you were excited about in that cabinet. No, there's some mechanicals there. There's a waterless trap, which is okay. kind of cool. There's the water pump, and that's the uh, the inside of the, I think it's an Atwood water heater. Wouldn't be there if you got the Truma. You'd see the Truma. Okay. All right, so here's shocking, more storage. Yeah, but this one had a, a, a door. So right. It's it kind of the, nice. the mate of the one on the other side of the bed, but had a door. This was interesting. Yeah, the microwave is sort of hidden away inside this uh, flip-down door. Yeah. Which makes for a very clean look, again, which I think is what they were going for. Mm-hmm. And the fridge was right below it. So this is a fridge. It's a pretty good-sized fridge. Yeah, uh, again, an absorption fridge. I think it was somewhere in the neighborhood of five cubic feet, although don't don't quote us on that. Yeah. But there it is, mm-hmm. um, a nice uh, three-way fridge. And again, hidden away for a very clean look. Yeah, and you know, I like the white of the cabinets too. Didn't you like that, yeah. that design? So now, the, it's tough for me to explain how large the... the if you had heard the original audio of this, the first thing I said when I opened this is, whoa. Well, not just the, the size of it, but look at all those shelves in the door. It's very well lots of, designed. Lots of usable storage there. And that was the uh, the controller for the solar panels we saw up on top. Okay. Hidden away in that cabinet, but just a absolutely cavernous storage there. Mm. So there's the uh, air conditioner. It's a Dometic, and there are two fantastic fans. This one's up in the living area, and you can see above my head there, there's one in the bathroom. Right, right. So now I'm pointing out that curve on the door. Yeah, it looks nice, but it has a functional purpose too, right? Right, it allows for a little bit of airflow between the two so that when you're sucking air out when you're taking mm-hmm. a shower. Yeah, the it, air's flowing. Yep. So. so now that's a little cover so that you don't walk into the rig and see toilet. Yeah, yeah, but it's not meant to be a seat, so you don't sit on that. It's no. just for design. It's just to hide the commode. Right, and that is not a China toilet. Yeah, but that's saving weight, and that's... you know that's one of their goals with this rig is to have a nice light rig. Yep, so, so and behind the toilet is, surprise, more storage. <laughs> uh, there's some there, and then in these uh, cabinets you open, and this is another cabinet when you see the top part of this. It's another one where I said, whoa. In the original video. Yeah, it goes back pretty deep. I don't know if this is giving a good Yeah, that's picture. actually over the, the head of where I was standing when I stood in it from the outside. Yeah, that's right. It was. All right, there's more of that, that bar. Modular storage kind of a thing. Yeah, hook whatever you want to it. I like the design of that faucet. Mm, trendy looking faucet More there. of that counter, that matte counter. Mm-hmm. Some more storage. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> Maybe you could put a trash can there. Another oh, trash can. Yeah, and a big mirror. That's what I'm showing there. And the shower. This was definitely a Steph shower. Well, it had storage inside it. It looked pretty inside, too. It's yep. one of the things I liked, like those metal bars. Well, plenty of room to keep your products, mm-hmm. like all, all the all my shampoo and uh, conditioner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it was well thought out. It was spacious enough. Um, Skylight on the top, so tall folks can get in the shower as well. And you're not towering in the dark. I always like a little light in the shower. Yep. Hooks, uh, grab rail, bar, yep. and under. And I hear the the floor is pretty sturdy. But what I want to show here is a pretty big step over. And what that means to me is that the trap for that shower is above the floor in the heated space. Oh, very good. So that that makes it a little bit better for winter camping. Oh, I always like these doors. 
Oh, the like a flexible film kind of thing. It squeegees yeah. itself off when you close it. It must be really light too for the build. Yep. So now here we have uh, the control center. We're getting into the nerd stuff. Um, <laughs> there's a, a sonar tank monitor. I actually show one of those. Okay. Um, generator start stop and the control panel for the magnum inverter. Oh, all right. Here's the electrical load center for this. This was uh, sort of attached to the uh, kitchen, I think, and a propane uh, propane leak detector. Okay. Oh, I forgot about this storage. This More is right storage. when you're coming in. <laughs> there was storage under the step coming in. Oh, that could be for shoes too, perhaps. Yeah. Here I am underneath the rig. Oh, I can't tell you how embarrassing this is for me. I'm always the one standing outside the rig with these feet <laughs> oh, sticking come out on. from under RVs. Come on. This is important <laughs> stuff. I, lo I like how they, they <laughs> coat the undersides of their rigs with like this uh, foam. It protects them and it cuts down on noise. They're always showing you the gray tank. Okay. This is the black tank right under the toilet. And there's the fresh tanks. So and we saw that stuff. Do you remember? We saw them getting sprayed when we did the factory tour. Yeah. But the fresh tank being underneath means not suitable for winter camping. Not hardcore True. anyway. True. Um, there's one of the solar things, or sonar things, yeah. uh, to monitor the tanks. And uh, here we are back inside. And so that's going to wrap it up for our review of the 2017 Leisure Travel Vans Wonder. Yeah, thanks for watching. If you're interested, go and check one out at a Leisure Travel Vans dealer near you. Hey, what the heck's going on with you two guys? Let's get out of my wonder. Hey. Wonder why he's so upset. I wonder why. <laughs>